when you think about Bali, what do you see? Millions of visitors come to the island searching for this. But Bali's beauty goes way deeper. gives us so many things. Don't you feel like you should try to give something back? Everything started around 2015 when I first came to Bali. I had such a good time here in Bali, exploring the island, going surfing, meeting very interesting people, that I felt like I had to give something back to Bali. So with my healthcare background as a pediatric osteopath, I asked my local friends for centers for children with special needs where I might be able to contribute uh, to help a little bit. So this is our house and then uh, we decided to build a foundation in here to take care of uh, cerebral palsy children. Uh, swimming pool uh, and hydrotherapy with uh, my children other and I have a standing frame uh, standing frame and I have a trampoline. Yeah. We got some donation. Okay, so we are in Jayasan Legon, uh, in Yanyar, near Ubud, and we're going to start with some treatment of the children today. <laughs> How old is he now? So we are here with Kadek. Uh, he is two years old. He has cerebral palsy from birth. He has been coming here for therapy since he was a baby. We're going to do some evaluation and some treatment and let's see how we keep response from this. So what we're doing with Putra is we're offering osteopathy, osteopathy treatment to the children with special needs in Bali. Uh, 11 years old, he has cerebral palsy, and as you can see, he has not been treated uh, as much as he could have been in the past. He has developed uh, quite dramatic scoliosis, which is going to lead to a lot of complications in terms of breathing difficulties. Is he going okay to the toilet? Uh, yes. And it's also a risk factor for other systems such as the digestive system which is going to have a huge impact on the development the further development of the brain and the nervous system nervous tissue 
So the more we can do for him, the better. And in this kind of patients, uh, ideally, it would be great if you have a good diagnosis uh, when they are babies, neonates, that would be great, so you can start with the treatment. These people have a good attitude towards life and they, they really enjoy what they have. <laughs> You look beautiful. <laughs> we help the children by bringing volunteers, healthcare professionals from different parts of the world. We mainly focus on osteopaths, physical therapists, and optometrists, although we are open to other healthcare professionals. So we bring them and we go to five different centers to, to treat children uh, mainly with disabilities. Now the orphanage for blind children here next to SLB. SLB is the school for children with special needs. And we are with Rasta. Rasta, is it possible you show us your room? Okay, so let's go with them. And now we go to the boys' room. And this is where all the children, the boys, sleep. So as you can see, it's just a one big bed. They don't have much to much space. No, no, which one is better? Valley United. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So now we're going to the girls' bedroom. We're going to visit the room, okay? Yeah. What's your name again? My name is Dia. Dia. She has a beautiful voice. Yes. So can you ask them how many girls sleep in this room? Berapa orang tinggal di kamar ini? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. And how old is the oldest? Uh, paling tua umur berapa? Twenty. Twenty. And how young is the youngest? Berapa yang paling muda, paling kecil? Seven years old. Seven years old. Okay. What we have identified is that for those families who are seeking for some kind of help for their disabled children, they don't have many options. So we are here offering our services to those who are willing to um, get some therapy to the children. Uh, we are at uh, some has been Manuela to Tiberi and in these centers, thanks God, the children are rather healthy but they are disadvantaged, they don't have parents. This Christian orphanage in particular are running out of money and we're going to meet with Sister Serafin. How are you? Fine! Good to see you. Good to see you also. Sister, these are our friends yeah. and they're going to do a documentary about yes. Your orphanage for yes. Christian children? Yes, yeah, sure. Can we see some children? Yes, come. Come here. Rico, Rico, my Rico. Come on, come on. Mila, come on, come on. Yeah, bye, bye, Mila. Yeah. Yeah, Nita. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Mila. Are we going to donate some of the food that the famous Indonesian actress Karisa Putri donated? So we're going to share it with some of the children. Wow, more rice! Wow, thank you so much. Jackie! Okay, so 
who live here. Majority are the poor children coming from different islands in Indonesia. We give uh, opportunity first to the orphan children. So those children that they don't have father and mother. Right. And second for the single parent children. And there are few children coming from very, very poor family and destitute. They don't have even food and even just have one clothes on their body. the boys. They are more simple and very quick to clean yeah. because they want to play rather than cleaning up things. <laughs> The 59 children that you have here, what ages are they from? The youngest now we have Angelo, Angelo yes. 3 years and 2 months old. And um, how old is the oldest? The 22 years old. 22 now he is old. in the university. Siapa yang perlu tas untuk taruh kotak nasi? Sama-sama nyamut. The purpose of our mission, number one, is to help these poor children can go to school for education. This is very important. And also, uh, we look into their skill development. So we, uh, we have dialogue with the children. If they can be trained of how to cook, how to do something like in the uh, hotel management, practice how to make coffee. We invited a barista from Bali to teach them. Really? Yeah, those children who are uh, in the kitchen, they are also trained by a chef mm -hmm. from uh, a hotel. Skill development mm -hmm. is a very good program uh, yes. preparing the children for the future. When I look at the poor, they really never have any chance in their life. But if we are given the chance and opportunity, they will excel well. Every little thing helps. Just by spreading the word, just by sharing the message with your friends, or if you feel that you have a special skill that you would like to come and share with us over here, I'm pretty sure that we can find you something to do with us. Because like we were saying, every little action helps. It can really make a difference. So like the Dalai Lama once said, if you feel too small to make a difference, try to sleep with one mosquito at night. <laughs> yes.